many of you here have um, experienced the electric shock or a spark from your body or from your hand when you get out of your car uh, especially when you touch the you know when you get out of your car and you close the door and you touch your your hand into the metal part of the car I feel like I have an electric shark or sp a shark <laughs> spark that uh, I can see or, or hear that sh something like that on my hand and and lately I have a phobia already of touching our door our car door or any metal doorknob whenever I just get out of the car so uh, I also have an experience where we are watching TV using the aerial antenna you know the the antenna that you can move around when there is no good reception then you have to move around your house you know I have we have an antenna like that before yeah we use an, an aerial antenna in our uh, for our TV before so uh, I have also an experience where uh, every time I pass by the antenna, the reception will be interrupted <laughs> as if, uh, you know, uh, there's something in my body that can interrupt the reception, uh, the clear reception of the antenna. So who among you have experienced like this also? And so I research about it and um, here are the answers I got from Google and I gathered all the answers that I can to uh, understand what's going on uh, in our body and what causes the, the sparks or the shock from our body when we touch the metal so this is one of the answer I got uh, from my research and it says what about shocks when I get out of my car which is my question actually many people experience shocks when they get out of the car often they believe that the car is charged but this is not normally so sitting in the car electrostatic charges are generated on the car seat and the person's body due to, con due to contact and movement between the clothes and the seat when the person leaves the seat they take half of this charge with them as they get out of the vehicle their body voltages rises to this charge a voltage of 10,000 volt is not unusual so there it is that's one of the answer I got from my research about the uh, shocks I get when uh, when I got out of my car so uh, here is the explanation I got from uh, my research in Google <laughs> so why I got static or sparks when I touch metal so it says when you touch a metal object such as a doorknob extra electrons from your body want to balance with the positive charge of the metal the electrons want to spread out to balance themselves between you and the metal since the metal conducts electricity very well they fly off you very quickly which heats up the air in between you and the metal giving you the painful shock feeling and so this is the answer from wikipedia the spark associated with static electricity is caused by electrostatic discharge or simply static discharge as excess charge is neutralized by a flow of charges from or to the surroundings the feeling of an electric shock is caused by the stimulation of nerves as the current flows through the human body And so this is the answer I got from sciencing. Static prevention. To prevent the buildup of static electricity, take steps to reduce the amount of potential friction in a given space. One of the easiest ways to do is to apply moisturizer 
to dry skin, particularly during the winter wind cold. Dry air allows electrons to travel, travel more easily. You can also use an ionizer to rebalance the lost electrons in a room or uh, and prevent static buildup. If your clothing is the problem, minimize the amount of polyester and nylon you wear or especially in the winter ensure that you wear material that builds less static like 100% cotton or wool between the problem fabric and your skin. So that is one of the helpful tips that we got from Sciencing and um, there's more, there's more to read. Another tip is to increase humidity. Static electricity is more active when the air and materials are dry. The humidity is normally lower in the winter and heating the house further reduces the humidity. Also, locations with a desert climate usually have very low relatively humidity. One thing you can do is to use a humidifier to raise the humidity in the house. That may help a little. Also, having plants in the house helps increase the humidity level. So this is another tip on how do I stop static electricity in my body or how can I stop getting static shocks. You could always purposefully discharge yourself every once in a while. If you carry a metal object like a coin, key or paper clip around with you and touch it to something metal in your house, any electrons stuck to your body will flow through the metal and away, preventing the jumping effect that causes a shock. So that is another tip in preventing the, the uh, static shock when we touch metal. So that's it for a sh uh, short explanation of how we got static from our body and how to prevent from experiencing it. Although we need a deeper, more understanding of how it happens to our body, a little bit of knowledge will help us in preventing it to happen. And that's it for our video for today. Hope you have enjoyed watching the video and you have learned something from it. Bye for now, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one everyone.